value. Joining us to talk about the pros and cons of owning mutual funds during a correction is Brent Wilsey, president of Wilsey Asset Management. Good morning, Brent. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. So tell me a little bit about where we are. And, and obviously, you can't predict when a correction is going to happen. But what might be some of the benefits to having a mutual fund during this time? Yeah, it's, it's so true because we know a correction is going to come up. We just don't know when. And you want to be prepared for that correction, but not sell out and go crazy. And this is where mutual funds can be helpful. So the pros of owning mutual funds during a correction are, first off, you get professional management. You have a money manager there managing that fund. He is already know or she already knows there is a correction coming up sometime. They're pre preparing for it. So they have the professional management. You also have dividend reinvestment. So they reinvest the dividends of that fund. So when things do drop, you're buying more at a lower price. It's done automatically for you. You don't have to worry about it, which also includes diversification. Now you're in a mutual fund, so you have this money diversified in many different companies. Now, hopefully it's not all in one sector or whatever, but again, you have a company that has many, many different companies, so don't worry about a correction if the fund manager is doing it right and being diversified in different companies. And lastly, it's very convenient. You don't have to do anything. You send the money off to the mutual fund company, it's done for you, you sit back and relax and you continue on with your life. Now with any stock, there's obviously positives and negatives. So what are the disadvantages to have a to having a mutual fund right now? Well, here's the disadvantages. There's going to be expenses. You want to know what those expenses are. You're going to have expenses such as uh, the fund expenses. You're going to have sales charges, maybe 12B1 fees. Understand what the expenses are on that mutual fund before you jump into it. You're also going to have mismanagement. We talked about it's great to have the management, but they could be mismanaging it. They may not know what they're doing. They could have a bias on something. They could like all technology stocks and you think are diversified when you're not. So you could have mismanagement. Check the management to make sure you know how long they've been there, who, what is their track record, how they do during the last correction, the last bear market. Understand about the management before you jump into it. Taxes can be uncontrollable because if they are doing a lot of selling, you can get a, uh, a 1099 uh, at the end of the year saying, oh my gosh, all those taxes, I didn't know that. So you're not in control of taxes. And then actually the trading of mutual funds can be a disadvantage because you can see the market going up or down and say, gee, I want to buy in now. Well, you send the money or you tell the broker to buy. It's not bought at that point in time. It's bought at the end of the day. So it could have been down during the day. You bought higher or it could have been higher. You bought lower. Mutual funds trade once a day and that's at the end of the day. So you never know what you're going to get during the day until the next day when the NAV comes out, which stands for net asset value. Now, there are some other options and one of those is ETFs. And can you explain a little bit what those are and the similarities between that and mutual funds? Yes. Uh, ETF stands for exchange traded funds and they're, they're still a group of funds uh, of stocks but they trade throughout the day so if you see things going down you want to sell out or buy in vice versa you can do whatever you want you can get that trade very close to that you don't have to wait till the end of the day and then actually stocks you can see what are going on with stocks here I do recommend professional management because you hire a professional manager to actually manage those stocks for you let him or her pick and choose what's going on understand their philosophy. Are they a growth investor, a value investor? Do you like technology? What do they like? If you're going to use a professional manager to buy stocks for you, understand what their philosophy is. All right, so now a good time to buy a mutual fund? What are you saying? Yes? No? Well, it's always a good time to buy for long-term investors, but you want to understand what am I investing into? Is this a good time to buy it? Be very careful of over-concentrated funds, in my opinion, that are heavily concentrated in tech stocks, the high flyers, just to get people into their funds. There was a thing in the mutual fund industry called window dressing, where they'll put a lot of high flyers in there before the quarter comes out. Like, wow, they did really well and then they sell them later on so you really got to understand on the mutual fund and we do this for people in their 401ks who actually look to see what they should be investing in we understand what the fund is so it, it is a good time to invest long term uh, be prepared for correction I wish I could tell you when <laughs> I can't tell you when but it, it will be coming up all right Brent we'll see thank you so much for joining us this You're morning welcome. providing some insight all right coming up on good morning San Diego the